So what's the difference between a DevOps engineer and an SRE or a site reliability engineer? Well, the main difference between the two comes down to who the customer is. For a DevOps engineer, the customer is typically the developer or software engineer who's writing the application code that you're supporting. Come on. What the f For an SRE though, the customer is typically the end customer of that business or the people who are buying and using your application. Hey, I'm Will from DevOps for Developers and in this video, we're gonna dig into that a little bit more and I'm gonna help you understand the differences between those two roles, give you some example tasks of what each role might be performing and give you some advice to help you decide which might be the right career path for you. So to get a better idea of the differences between these roles, let's take a look at what a typical software deployment lifecycle might look like. We've got our developer or our software engineer here. They're working on their laptop and they're writing some code that's the application that we support. So once they write that code, they're going to push that over to the software repository. And this might be Atlassian Bitbucket or GitHub or something like that. And then we're going to run some different tasks on that. We might run a linter on it to make sure that the code conforms to the standards we've agreed upon. We'll run our test suite and then we'll run any build steps that are needed to make this software run. And then the engineer will open up a pull request that will go through the review process. And then once it's approved, that code will get merged into the main branch for the code. Once that happens, we can now deploy that code out into our cloud provider or our data center, wherever we happen to be running this. Now, when that happens, we're gonna run multiple instances of this code, right? So that we have high availability and redundancy. So that's gonna be sitting behind a load balancer and then we might also have a CDN or content delivery network in front of that as well. So if we take this part right here, this section I highlighted in yellow is typically our DevOps environment. And then this section here that I'm drawing in pink is typically the responsibility of SRE. And now you can see that there's some overlap in here, primarily around the area where we actually deploy that code to production. So with that graphic in mind, you can see that a DevOps engineer is primarily focused on helping software engineers get the code from their workstation out into production. And then SREs are primarily focused on making sure that that application behaves, runs, and scales properly to deliver a user experience that your customers are expecting when they're using their application. So one way to think of this is that DevOps engineers are kind of like assembly line workers in a car factory, taking the raw materials and assembling them into the finished product. Where SREs can be thought of more like the mechanics who are responsible for the repairs, maintenance, and performance tuning of the automobile once it's been delivered to the customer. But SREs also typically have the first responder responsibilities, responding to outages and incidents when things go wrong. And they'll have forecasting and capacity planning responsibilities as well. So now both roles will often take on different um, tasks and responsibilities outside of DevOps or SRE. So it's not uncommon over time to see your DevOps and SRE engineers become very skilled as software engineers or as sysadmins. So now if you're just getting started in your career, my recommendation is to start with DevOps. Unless you happen to have a really strong background already in software engineering or in system administration. And the reason I say that is because you can start learning DevOps practices and then get your foot in the door, land that first job and start building your skills much easier than you can getting an entry level SRE position. Because SRE is kind of dependent on the fact that you have this 
um, this background and this experience to be able to be dropped off into an unknown situation and rely on just your foundational knowledge to piece together what's going on and restore service. One other thing worth pointing out is some places may not have different DevOps or SRE positions depending on the size of the company and the way that the organization is structured. You may not have both of those roles and so the responsibilities will be kind of merged into the one role that you do have. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did or you have more questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll respond to you there. Or if you want to dig into this conversation further, be sure and join me over on my Discord server and we can talk about it more there. I'll drop a link in the description below and I'll see y'all next time.